Hi, hey, and all those other greetings for adventurers. I'm Jake Spins, welcoming you guys back to my gaming and unboxing channel. We're here for more SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Kelp Forest. So glad that my mom probably hasn't fallen asleep at this point. I really hope nobody else is trying to, because like, if you didn't, if you didn't see the last episode. Oh my god, the glitch fest, dude. Like, I guess none of that patch went to went to Cap Forest. Like, I'm I'm trying really hard because I know THQ Nordic is trying very hard with this game, and it's a beautiful game. And I appreciate the fact that they've done this, and the, it's only 30 bucks, and they're still putting work into it, and they have a forum to report these glitches. But, like, I am both appalled, amazed, happy, and confused about the fact that we're still running into things. And I'm sure people know about it, but, like, seriously, the amount of dumb things that happen, just, just watch it. Watch it. The commentary might be crap. I don't care. I don't care if it is, still watch it anyway. It might not be. I've I've thought I was gonna say I've thought that videos have been before and then I've found out I I wasn't completely right in editing. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's move on! All right, what is next for this hellscape? Find five crystals? Why? Okay, I guess it's for SpongeBob. I don't think I've seen this area. I didn't know this area, like this whole entire thing with kelp forest was so long either. Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. So, Crash Bandicoot. Got it. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. Uh, I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. <sighs> gotta gotta love this game for the comedy though. Wait, <laughs> they're like, um, yeah. By the way, even though we had this big, huge secret thing for using, um, well, I'm talking smack, and then I mess it up. <laughs> but what I was going to say is the fact that I love how they had this big thing for. Wait, it said we already had one collected. Wait, when did I collect it? When did I collect a crystal? Um. What? Did I did I collect one and not realize it? I'm very confused, but whatever, it's fine. But I love how they have like this little cruise bubble tutorial thing and all the way back there they actually have a thing for uh for that oh there's a patrick area too that's for one crystal as well okay this is if we're gonna have to be switching back and forth from spongebob and patrick that really makes this feel a bit meh because i i talked about this in the beginning of the game all right. I mean, this isn't THQ Nordic's fault. This is the original developers. I I like the bus idea. Don't get me wrong, but like, I wish they would have just allowed you to change characters on the fly. Because moments like this, where like to progress, you have to switch characters out. It makes it kind of annoying the fact that I have to go back and switch to Patrick just to get this one thing, and then. I'm going to have to switch back to SpongeBob. See, I've already they put a they put a thing in my path to make sure that I needed I needed Patrick. So I had to go back for Patrick. And now right after I use Patrick for 1 second. It's not even that long, but I now have to go all the way back here and switch. 
It's it's a it's a nitpick, I know. And the thing is right here, so it's not really that big of a thing. But they could have they could have handled this better. Um also clearly you can tell that I've I've never been to this part because I didn't know that Barnacle Boy had crystal things for his superpowers. I didn't know that was a thing for him. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know how I screwed that up so royally, but, you know, it happened. The nice thing is, we're only timed on the cruise bubbler. Somebody remind me how I'm this bad at controlling this thing? Okay, I think I'm seeing a slight problem that I'm having. So, it's turn... Like, when it turns, it actually really turns. It's a very sensitive control, and it moves very fast. But, the thing is, I feel like it's one of those power-ups where it's... For, like, heavy use, it's gonna be weird to control, but once you get used to it, you'll be able to get used to it. Thing is, though, I, I definitely need to get used to it at some point. I have to switch back to Patrick? Are you... Are you serious? Okay. Okay. Was there a thing? Okay, so there's a thing here for SpongeBob. So that, okay, that's going to be the question. Am I going to have to switch to... Or maybe, like, this is just how you get through and then, like, the Barnacle Boy is, like, an optional spatula? It's interesting. I mean, this is one of the... F is this the first time they have two different counters for areas? Because they have the crystals and they have the campers. Okay, I feel like I, I want to do as much with SpongeBob as I can before switching back. And maybe you don't have to switch... Um... Dude... Are they supposed to do that? I, I don't think they're supposed to do that. I could be wrong. Because I have been wrong in the past. Oh god, the storm cloud guys are not... Not making me happy, though. Okay, this has to be where one of the crystals is, though, right? No. Very wrong. Okay, um... So that leads nowhere. For the current moment. Oh, there's a box thing here. Awesome. Okay, well, I don't know where the other box is. I, it's probably at the beginning, but I just didn't see it. But yeah, okay. Okay, so I guess I guess I can kind of remove my complaints here. Because I guess... I guess you can technically come back. Also, wait, where was the where was the button? It's not going to show me again, though. Yeah, this is this is the cutscene it decides not to repeat, by the way. Um I think it was just like around the corner though, right? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I just saw the wrong button. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take Sorry, I'm gonna have to think about this. So I gotta take to the left. Oh god, I dip way too down. I almost made that though. If I didn't hit that left. Okay. Okay. It's all about it's all about the practice. Why did why does it dip so sensitively though? It's weird because it's like if I don't correct it, it's gonna get hit super up top. Or so Wait, what? Thank you! God almighty, I don't know what that accomplished, though. Which is kind of, kind of a problem when you, when you think about it, but... Rain, rain, go away. Okay, I guess it accomplished getting rid of this door? And... Rain? Dude, there's the sixth camper! Hey, take a bow. Take a bow. There we go. Thankfully, they're not as hidden as I was expecting them to be. So that's good. 
Oh wait, that's a button, so that's just gonna explode the TV. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Yeah. Push, 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 push. Okay, well, it, it would have. But... Okay, so that's not open. Okay. So... One would gather... That I probably need Patrick at this point, then. Okay, I can. Cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda kinda chill with this. Oh, the problem is now I have to <laughs> toss it upwards. I thought it was going down for some reason, but no. And thank god we don't have to throw on top of that. Okay, so that's gonna do what? Okay, so that's gonna get it. So essentially these so SpongeBob's clearing the gates. Patrick is getting us the way to the crystals. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's funny, I was like, I, I was complaining, and I was like, okay, it's fine, I'll, I'll take it back, it's, it doesn't seem like it's really that bad, and then I'm like, you know, no, no, because you do, you do actually need to do it this way, so actually, I'm not taking it back. So, we'll see, we'll see where I get to at the end of the episode. How I feel about this. Okay, wh well, what's the point of bouncing up there? Like, I, there's a gate for cruise bubbler. I'm, I'm very confused about the point and the logic of this. Like, I can't, I can't do anything with that. Oh. You're not you're not serious, are you? You're you're not you're not serious, right? How how? I what? I I'm confused. I'm confused, and I'm scared, and I don't like this. I don't understand. I... What? Help me, please? Because I... I don't... I don't get. I... Like, I, I kinda... I kinda get, but like, I can... I can make that? I, like, I can make that throw? I mean, I can make that throw, which lets me get this, but then I can't get that. How many of these do I have to carry? But you can't, you can't throw that at the same time, right? So like, do I just fling this over there? Okay, I can. And then I have to get the watermelon. Okay, you know what? Screw you. <laughs> it's raining, man. Oh God, six ton man! Please save me! It's raining, man. Raining starfish, raining man. Six ton man. <laughs> okay, I mean it, it's fair, it's valid. Okay, how? There's no way there's enough time for this. There is no way there's enough time for this. No! There is enough time for it, but... <laughs> Once again, I am being screwed over... ...by the reticle. <laughs> Insert Bernie Sanders meme here. God bless it, dude. <sighs> All right, it's fine. It's fine as long as the reticle works. There we go. There we go. That was a lot easier than I expected it to be, but apparently I'm a lot better at the watermelon than I than I was when this game first came out. <laughs> Cuz this seemed very impossible when the game first came out, that's for sure. Like, woof. 
Okay, so where... I mean, it's saying about that. Is that the one that's down here? Yes, it is. But we still have a problem. Never mind, because after this, after all of this, no, no, like, special warp points, because they only, they only believe in one warp point. So I can't just warp all the way. It's fine. I can technically do this. That doesn't make it any less annoying, though. All right, just as a time frame thing. Um, it's been 18 minutes. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it's been 18 minutes. And that is, that is my, my little complaint update <laughs> of God, this is taking long. Oh, hey, I got it. I got that one first try. They heard me. They heard me. Okay. Here's, the, here's the question though. All right. So is, does that count? as the Barnacle Boy one. No, it, it doesn't. Okay, that's what I figured, because technically you can get through that without. All right, Barnacle Boy. I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> there. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. You know, I wonder if uh, that's what the Flash does with his super speed. <laughs> Just <laughs> trims his nose hairs. But like, can we can we talk about the fact that like Barnacle Boy just literally asks this man, this sponge, to go all the way through a robot infested cave for him. To get crystals. And then afterwards, he's immediately like, okay, you suck. Go away, please. <laughs> Restraining order. <laughs> like, no. No, excuse me, sir. Can we talk about this? Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Crying. Oh, hello, Kyle. <laughs> I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot! And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these. Gold spatulas. Seem familiar? Well, well, kids. Well, let me let me tell you. When the guy at the beginning of SpongeBob goes, "Are you ready, kids?" and then shows you this, everybody go says, "No, Captain," and he says. Watch your profanity, kids. And they say, No, Captain! <laughs> yes, I am implying what I am. Because, like, oh, I've heard horror stories about this. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. And you have to do it twice. Try not to fall off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll try not to. Also, thankfully, this time I was smart enough to realize there is box. So, just to check though, how many? Okay, two socks left. Okay. Yeah, so basically after this, like, all we have is socks because we just gotta go to Miss Buff. 
So, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a long way down. All right, this is going to be a lot of trial and error. Look at this. This is the first two turns, by the way. Oh my God. Can you tell I've never done this before? I've seen it and I've heard it's awful. That's all I know. That's because I died! Oh, great. So every time you, you fail, he yells at you, keep trying, youngster. Oh, boy. Because nothing says, I want to beat this more like Mermaid Man yelling at me that I'm not good enough and that he believes in me. I Well, I guess at least it's, you know... At least it's not mean. It's not somebody being like, you suck. Go away. Because <laughs> Barnacle Boys would probably be like, ah, well, I would have done better even in my old age. <laughs> and that would have been that would have been all of it. Or you would have just been like, please, go down the slide so I don't have to hear you again. Oh! Oh god, oh god. Okay, you can slow down though, which is actually great for this. And weird things are going to have collision and death. Also a you lose scream. Thanks, game. <laughs> Actually threw me off to what I was going to say, but... Okay. The, th the key to this is going to be to not panic. But I did do better that second time at least, so that's good. Unfortunately, they kind of just throw you into the timed one first, and I would rather just have a leisurely stroll on the kelp so we can get a taste of this slide. Oh, sponge! Sponge out of water, and he's a hundred years dead. Why is that such a sharp turn? Hmm. I wonder. It's gonna be really dumb. No, I don't think... <laughs> he just was like, I ain't dying today! Would be checkpoint. Oh, dude, the light just saved me. And I was totally an alternate path. Okay, that wasn't a pit. Dude, I couldn't even see what was going on there. No. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Sure. Suck! Alright, well that was the secret path, so I will 100% take it. Everything here is completely blind, though. Oh god, I almost went too inward, really? Oh god, what are these turns? It's freaking ridiculous! End it! End it! End it! End it! End it! Yes! Yes! In the plant! Sock and in the plant! Oh my 
my god. I did forget about the fact that if you beat the time trial, it gives you both. Now, that's some time you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that <sighs> flip. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was not... It was not easy. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't that bad. I was... Uh, I think... See, I think when, when you realize that you need to lean into your turns, then it's fine. Then you have, like, nothing to worry about. But if you... The problem is, if you don't realize that, it makes it very hard. Also, the secret path may have made it easier. But, like, when you, like, you can turn two inward, too, and two outward, so... I don't know, it's weird. Alrighty, it looks like we are back. And, wow. Up here. Um, okay, so we have to go to Mrs. Puff. The other problem, though, is we also have one more sock, and I just have this aching feeling. I have this irking feeling that it's going to be on the slide. Or it's just going to be somewhere really dumb that I didn't notice. I mean, to be fair, I think I, I got that one. <laughs> the dumb one that I shouldn't have noticed. But, I mean, sit. considering that I don't know where any of these are, getting... Okay, weird. Getting six of them? Not bad. All the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. No. You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff. I'll cherish it always. All right, well, that was my first experience with Kelp Forest. It was an experience. I mean, we still have one more sock, but I just really quickly want to get this off my chest. So, let, let's let SpongeBob take a bathroom break. <laughs> Sounds like he needed it. Um, especially after that slide. Okay, so my thoughts on Kelp Forest. Not as bad as I was expecting. A part of that was mainly because of the fact that Kelp Forest in the original was super, super dark. You could not see anything that was going on. So to be fair, that made it worse. So the remake makes it a lot easier. You can see what's going on. Um, however, because this is a remake, the flaws that would have still been there are pretty much still there. And there's actually quite a few glitches that you can get with this. Um, that we use that like cutscene that keeps playing over and over. Definitely not a purposeful thing, I'm pretty sure. Um, that's annoying as I'll get out and led to a glitch. Um, the front, okay, so the front area, not too bad. First area, pretty short, sweet, to the point. Um, you don't have to switch too much. And it's, it's actually kind of fun. Second area? No. No, thank you. No, I literally skipped that. <laughs> like, what more do you want? Um, and then the, the third, the third area with Barnacle Boy. Mm, I have mixed feelings. It was, a, it was a good area platforming wise, and it teaches you the cruise bubbler really well. That I will give it props for. However, the fact that, um, I mean, they're two separate missions. I shouldn't be too hard on it because they are two separate missions. And it, it was kind of my fault for not thinking about that it that way. But like, I didn't feel that way during, um, during the museum, you know, um, back in rock bottom, that wasn't a problem for me, but here it was, but probably because they were so intertwined together. Um, so could I have done that better? Could I have done that faster? Technically, yeah. Kelp slide? Not that bad. 
it's it's still a bit meh. It's still a bit frustrating. Um, but I think a lot of that is the fact that there's just so many turns. Why so many turns? I don't understand. Like, where is the where is the slide in the middle? You know, the snow area was like the last place with the slides, and there was there was some eh, slightly difficult slides, but nothing like bone breaking. At least the time attack wasn't too bad for this. But the thing is, no matter how I feel about this. We do still have one more sock. One more dreaded sock to get, which means I have to go and look it up really quick. All right, so where did the sock take us? Well, it turns out back to good old swamp. Kelp Swamp, I guess this is called? Well, I mean, we did skip this area. I actually thought that it was going to be a lot worse than it actually turns out to be, which is fairly interesting. You know, if you go backward... And then I died. Okay, as I was saying, like... If this is the right sock, all right, and there is, like, absolutely no... Frick. Well, I messed that up. Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of literally saying how this sock wouldn't be that bad to get. Because <laughs> it's literally, like, right over there, except for the fact that it doesn't look like it is. And uh, if it's not, that's a problem, because I don't know... What sock I'm missing, man? Okay, it's there. It just didn't load in. All right, all right, cool. We good, we good. What does this button do? I swear to God. I swear. You better go backwards here. No, but nobody said there was a way to go backwards here. Listen, listen. I knew it was there, but like, seriously? That's how you beat that puzzle? Really? God, that's dumb. That's, that's really dumb. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We got the sock, which means... We're going to Marmalier? How did I manage that? How? But anyway, that means we have 100%ed kelp forest. Thank God. Thank God. I mean, to be fair, did technically take me a little under like two hours. <laughs> to be fair, you know, like an hour and 40 minutes to do in all technicality. But like, like, listen, listen, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that it was going to be more episodes. Um, I just think it's going to be fun, though. I think it's going to be very very fun for both these episodes because oh boy i've got a lot in store but either way that's going to be it for this episode of spongebob battle for bikini bottom rehydrated so if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit that like button share this out with everybody on love brother mother sister father iguana and in the next one we will go to the last stage that's right the last stage in the entire game because after that it's John Bucket. So, as I said way back in August, we're in the final grind of this. So, buckle up, guys. Because next time, it's Dutchman. Yep. Alright, guys. Keep it toes safe. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. You can subscribe if you really liked it. You can also hit the bell to make sure that you don't miss any videos by me. And uh, on the screen right now, there's my first channel subscription, second channel, as well as some videos to check out. All right, guys, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you later.